you want to wax Drew's chest? Yeah, for a cheer fundraiser. Yes or no? I have a lot of other ideas. I only have one. <laughs> Are you trying to oh, see my... No! Okay, yes, but it's not my fault. I'm a guy. We're, like, programmed to do that. Look, I like you, Winston, but I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I mean, we've only been dating for one month, two weeks, and four days, right? Well, someone's been counting. Plus, I don't want to get caught in a compromising position by my parents, who are downstairs. You mean like this? Yeah. Frankie, you always were just so ticklish. I may vomit. Buzz off, Hunter. Frank's mom's looking for, <clears throat> for you. Hun, we need you at your dad's campaign event tomorrow. This isn't what it looks like. Winston. I I'll see myself out. No more boys in your room. But Winston and I weren't doing anything. And even if we were, I should be allowed because one, I'm 14, and two, Miles has done way worse. Honey, this is different. Why? Miles can't get pregnant. Sounds like a challenge. Neither can I because I'm not having sex. I'd like to keep it that way for the foreseeable future. But maybe you can just consider. No, Frankie. This conversation is over. Roller derby tickets. You rule. I love roller derby. Me too. But what about Becky? Can we leave her alone right now? I don't know. She's just so sad. You know I can hear you, right? Yeah. I'm sorry I called you pathetic. You didn't. But we don't blame you for being a little bit off. I mean. <sighs> You did just find out your boyfriend knocked another girl up. Ex-boyfriend. Are you high right now? No, of course not. That is a million dollar idea. How? What, what use would a bird possibly have for a horse? And I'm done with being pathetic. I don't see Drew moping around because he totally messed everything up, so why should I? Which means I'm coming to roller derby tonight. Whatever that is. You won't feel like a third wheel? No, because I'm gonna bring someone how are you gonna find a date this fast? How does anyone do anything these days? To the internet. <laughs> well, Where's Miles? He's in this class. You think mine knew? Maybe she turned him. <laughs> what are we talking about? Well, um, Miles is gay. Yeah, maybe. You know, he's probably kissing Tristan right now. Can it, dumbass? He's just going through some crap right now. Oh, Matlin. Still holding out hope for Moneybag Miles? So you really saw no signs? No obsession with dance music? Guys, seriously, isn't funny. You're telling me. When did we decide homophobic jokes were okay again? What year is this? Miles has been acting weird lately. Skipping class and stuff. I'm worried something's wrong. Because he's gay? Who's homophobic now? <laughs> Let's talk fundraising, ladies. We need ideas. Because to be the best, we need to have the best stuff. Best uniforms. Are you guys allowed to have boys in your rooms? No, where else am I supposed to make out with them? No boy's worthy of my room. How do I show my mom I deserve to be treated the same as my stupid brothers? That I shouldn't have to be a perfect little girl? What a double standard. Plus, now Winston and I get less time together, which means we'll start to grow apart, and then he'll probably totally break up with me. Okay, crazy face, calm down. Yeah, just um, chat with some sexy pictures. That'll keep him happy. You girls have something to share? Yeah, I'd like to share my rage over the vicious double standards for girls and boys. Now, this I want to hear. Great example, oomph chat. 
Guys get exactly what they want. Boobs. What do girls get? Uh, I don't want to see junk pics. If we do anything even a little bit sexy, we get in trouble. Boys are the sex crazed idiots and we're the ones getting called names. Guys think they have a right to whatever they want, whenever they want it, and no one will ever think differently of it. Yeah, exactly. But girls can only be two things. Perfect little girls or... Trollops. Exactly. Well, maybe it's time we turn this on its head. Maybe it's time we get what we want for a change. Exactly. Wait, what do we want? Money. Duh. There has to be a better guy out there for me than Drew. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, would you like to have kids? <sighs> well, not while I'm in high school. Holla! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eventually. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, and how important is God in your life? Well, he hasn't been there for me lately. Because he works in mysterious ways. I will put extremely important. How close are you to your family? Uh, they used to be my rock. And they will be again. Sounds like extremely close. Okay, last question. Uh, what color best describes you? Red, yellow, purple, or gray? Duh, yellow. Are you sure? I've been feeling pretty blue lately. Look. I know things are wonky right now, but this is Operation Reset Becky, remember? Yellow equals sun, and sun equals old Becky. Ergo... You're right. Yellow it is. 100% match. That, like, never happens. Hey, okay. Christian, good family. Loves charity work. Think Chris likes roller derby? There's only one way to find out. Miles? Miles! Intense daydream. Need to talk? I was just dreaming about this algebra test I'm really stressed about. Really? It seemed pretty intense for a dream about schoolwork. Yeah, what can I say? Math's not my favorite subject. Okay, but just remember I'm always around and talking helps. Let's see if your brilliant plan can work, Frankie. What plan? Grace. Grace. <laughs> Love the piercings. <laughs> and your shirt. Time is money, ladies. You've got 10 seconds. 10. Frankie, tell her all that feminist oom chat mumble jumbo you said at practice. Nine. I was just saying it sucks that girls are expected to oom chat nudes to guys and get nothing but trouble in return. She thinks we need to charge. Hold up, I don't want to chat nudes for money. Okay, well, I do. Last term, guys distributed naked photos of me without my consent. Now, if they want them, they'll have to pay. Eight, as much as I love a feminist reclaiming of nudes, what does this have to do with me? Seven. We need a website that'll send anonymous oomph chat requests. Can you do that? Offshore servers, proxies, six, doable. Zoe, no, this is crazy. We also need to take payments secretly. Five, prepaid credit card should work. So no, what if someone screen grabs the pics? Who cares? No one will know it's us. Three. This is a way to fix the double standard. Besides, didn't you say you want to show your mom that you're not a perfect little girl? Two. I didn't mean like this. One. Time's up, pom-poms. Wait, will you help us? Only if I keep 20%. Like I said, time is money. Fine. Pleasure doing business. Frankie? You just saved power chair. <laughs> Yay me. Ladies, I have the perfect fundraiser. Nude oomph chats for money. You're joking. You'd think, but no. It's safe, anonymous, and it'll make us all the money we need easily. It all starts with a secret website.
boys pick a girl from a list of handles. They pay with a prepaid credit card and enter an Ooms chat username. That sends the girl a request. Now, it's picture time. Protect us, there are rules. No faces, no identifying backgrounds. Just take a pic, send it back. At a dollar a second, we'll have all the money we need in no time. Let's vote. All in favor? Wait, what if people find out, like our parents or our teachers? No one will know it's us. But we will. Girls, I know this seems crazy, but guys treat us like objects every single day. It's gross and totally unfair. At least this way, we get something in return. This is our way of fighting back. I'm not just waiting around for the right guy. We don't need to sell our bodies. There are other ways to make money. This isn't just about the money. It needs to be unanimous. Don't make us throw you and not catch you. Come on. I can't believe we're doing this. Me neither. This is great. Yeah. Oh, and uh, one thing. No one outside this room can know. Hi. Can you come and sit down for a second, sweetheart? What's going on? You're freaking me out. Ms. Grell called me today. She said you had some kind of nightmare in class. You can tell me, whatever it is. I'm worried about Miles. Would you talk to him? Yeah, but he won't say anything. Maybe he's scared to talk. Maybe it's all in my head. But what if it's not? What if he, like, like hurts himself? Oh, sweetheart. That's what I was dreaming about. That's what I'm really scared of. Of course you are. What do I do? For now, you just sit here and you let me take care of you. Try new things and meeting new people. Uh, so do you do this often? Blind dates? No, I'm pretty busy at school. I run student council, the drama club, run track. Plus, I'm super involved at my church. I just hate to be idle. Yeah, me too. Uh, that's why I started a power cheer team this term. That's amazing. Do you love it? I did, uh, until I broke my leg in a fall and had to quit the team. What caused your fall? An amazing stunt? I was actually a bit distracted by good news. My boyfriend got another girl pregnant. At least you realized what kind of person he was before you got too invested. And hey, and more time with that family you love so much. What am I talking about? How about the fact that you had your mom call my mom and tell her that you were worried I might hurt myself? Oh, my God, Miles. I'm so sorry. That's not what I said. I didn't know she was going to do that. Are you serious, Ma? If you're going to act like a crazy person, at least own up to it, okay? No, I swear. I had no idea. I was just telling her how worried I was about you. How many times do I have to tell you that I'm fine? Till I believe you, I guess? Well, then that is your problem. Get over me, Maya, and stay the hell out of my life. Wow. My name Bags is a dork. Oh my 
just keep messing everything up. Hey, <laughs> if it weren't for you, I'd still be squatting in that house. Or worse. So you don't think I'm a total basket case? I mean, you're definitely insane. But you mean well. Thanks. <laughs> so, Dish, are you and Chris gonna get married and have a billion blonde, bubbly babies? I sure hope not. What? Why? What's wrong? I thought you liked him. I hate him. Like, I really, really hate him. But he's actually the perfect match for you. Okay, then maybe I hate myself. Tell me I'm not that positive. Annoying. I was like that before when everything was simpler, but I'm not that person anymore. Well, if he's not the right guy for you, then who is? I, I need to go. Wait, no, how are you gonna break the news, Chris? I was kind of hoping you could do it for me. Don't worry, he'll just see it as another opportunity to meet someone new. Go. Okay. Thanks. Um, uh, here. Wear this one instead. <laughs> uh, no way. Mom, I'm not four. No, you're 14. Why are you in such a rush to grow up? Maybe so you'll trust me to do what I want, when I want, and with who I want. Oh, you're still mad about Winston. Of course I am. Mom, it's so unfair. I'm expected to be a saint, and my brothers get away with murder. Miles hasn't murdered anyone yet, I don't think. Ha ha. Well, I do everything you ask. I keep my grades up, I do campaign stuff, I don't drink, and I don't smoke. <sighs> Frankie, look, I'm doing this to protect you. And what's next? Locking me away in a tower? Ooh, don't think I haven't considered it. Are you even hearing how ridiculous you're being? I should be treated equally to my brothers, with equal rules. And I would like the world to be a different place. So there's nothing I can do to change your mind? Well, you could get dressed. We're gonna be late. stupid. You look very stupid. Leaving in tan. Oh, see, Frankie? You look adorable. Adorable? I am not adorable. <sighs> Are those boobs? Mom and your dead meat. Come on, let's go. Hey. Hi. 
So, how's it going with Claire? Great. <sighs> okay. It's not great. It's messy and complicated. And I miss you like crazy. <sighs> you are the last person who wants to be hearing about my problems. Drew?